Hello, I thought I'd make a quick vlog. Before I begin, I just wanted to say that I made a vlog earlier and I deleted it because it gave away information about where I buy certain things and I did not want to have to deal with uh, it being taken away. So, I don't know who was here that witnessed it, but I hope it doesn't get out. All right. And we know. Okay. I'm not. Okay. Anyway. I wanted to start off by showing you how bad my drawing is getting. This is me trying to draw Diego. 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 That's when I gave up. I just gave up. <clears throat> Poor Diego. And just a doodle. Not really a serious sketch. Just a quick doodle. But just look at that. Anyway. So here's the point of this video. The point of this video was. Let's see if I can find it. It's right there. Oh, here it is. Okay. See. Let's see if I can focus it. It's not focusing. Okay. Well, oh. A while back, I had dreams about rings. And I started drawing... Well, I only drew one of them. That was one of the rings I dreamt about. But I'm going to use this kind of style as an example. Then I try to draw it this way. Then I said, no, maybe this... Where was it? Maybe this way. Then I said, no, maybe this way. But this... There's a point. Now, what I was thinking is that rings could be, uh, instead of uh, the, the band rings that, that have the elasticized rings that you can, that are stretchable, and I love them, don't get me wrong, you know I love costume jewelry. So I would definitely, I definitely love them. And, um... But what I was thinking, for a little bit more high-end jewelry or just costume jewelry, that you don't want a, a, uh, an elasticized band on, what I was thinking was that you can create something, excuse my nail, uh, that you could create something that would be like a little, see this, right here is a little spot, and... You uh, take the band off, then put put slip it on somehow. I, I I've thought of a few different mechanical ways to slip it on, and then hinge it on and um, whatever. And then you can have a set of bands. Maybe the band hinge will be up until here, so that smaller smaller fingers or a smaller stone, it'll all have to be worked out. But you could have different sized uh, bands go with each different setting. So I made one setting and kind of an example. Now this setting right here, I don't want to take credit completely. It was um, inspired by my mood ring. But I made the setting. So what I put in here is kind of the same kind of style, but a little bit different. So um, uh, an emerald in the center. Then a diamond-shaped emerald and a diamond-shaped emerald. And then the, the emeralds, tiny emeralds, were supposed to look like this, tiny, but I made them in black. So I put them in, uh, I put them in green, but they're way too big for what I wanted. Now I decided not, see I have all the pens, all the different color pens out right now, but I decided not to design anymore because I don't want people taking my design ideas and creating the, creating the rings for themselves. It's bad enough that I'm already posting my idea, but I have to document my ideas as soon as I get them. 
for proof later on that they were my original ideas. So, okay, so now we have this. Let me use the black. Okay, so now we have this, and now we have... Now we have... Now we have a ring. Okay? This is the ring part. And underneath there are mechanisms. This is a different variation. I thought of so many different variations. But uh, underneath there's a mechanism that just attaches to the bottom of a ring like this. So different rings will have different kinds of attachments. And so this ring right here, let's just say this is a size 7. You can you can see that this is a this ring could stand up to maybe a size ten. So you could go maybe from size six to size ten and just with different interchangeable bands. And what I was thinking is to sell a set, like a set of uh and like a setting. You could do set it, a setting like this. A setting a setting like this or this. Something like that. Or settings like this. Or interchange them. Or whatever kind of settings you want to do. But I was thinking a setting. A three settings. With uh, bands. Ranging from. Size 6. To size 10. And. Uh, and then. Uh, putting them together. In a in a in a in a nice presentation box, you know, with uh, velvet and maybe silk. I don't know. I don't know what the presentation box would look like, but a nice presentation box and uh, and and selling them as a set like that. You know, you, they can be sold individually, of course, but selling them as a set like that would be a good way for people to get a collection of this kind of jewelry. And, you know, parents can uh, can hand out jewelry to different children with different size fingers. So, because this could be men's rings, too. It could be women or men's rings uh, that, that uh, this can be done in. So, and the bands, the bands themselves, you know, and the and the settings and all of that, you, the materials used for that, you can decide, will have to be decided by the person who makes them. But, okay, but my men are telling me these are patented already. So, no one is allowed to create her, what she is describing right now. They are patented there will be no gift box no gift boxes of bands that can be interchanged and we know all the different variations that she came up with to uh, lock the bands in place so we are not going to allow anyone to create any bands that are interchangeable with with other bands for settings on rings. This is exclusively Marissa's ideas. All of them. Okay, so my idea then would be, um, if it were up to me, I would make them in silver. I would make them in silver plated. And I would make them... Maybe what material is really stainless steel? I think is is the most and uh, uh, hypoallergenic. I think hypoallergenic. I think whatever the most the most hypoallergenic material is that isn't a fine metal. I would definitely make it in that fourteen karat gold, yellow, and white. And, uh, and that, depending on the stones, depending on, well, sterling silver and silver plate is okay for stones too. So, I'm just saying, I would, I would do 
a variety of things. And I'm going to stop talking now before I get myself into more trouble because I always get myself into trouble when I start thinking out loud. So, all right. On that note, I'm going to end this vlog and I'm going to say I hope everybody watching has a great evening tonight and a great day tomorrow and things go away. All right. Bye.